And the new jobs report shows the U.S. economy added 311,000 jobs last month. The unemployment rate rose to 3.6 percent. President Biden says the better-than-expected report is proof his economic plan is working. Because of our economic plan, unemployment has been below 4 percent for 14 straight months since January 2022. Last month, the unemployment rate remained near the lowest level in 50 years. But with such a hot jobs market, there are concerns about inflation and future rate hikes by the Fed. ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophorus joins me live now for more on that. Does it break this down for us. What do these numbers tell you? Yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. So basically what this report tells us is the job market continues to outperform expectations, even in the face of stubbornly high inflation and aggressive rate hikes from the Federal Reserve. So let's go through those numbers again. The economy adding 311,000 jobs last month, less than the half million added in January, but still more than expected. We had the unemployment rate tick up to 3.6%, but that's mostly because more people were actively out searching for work, and so they're counted in the unemployment rate. Now, hiring remained particularly strong in the leisure and hospitality sector, where 105,000 jobs were added. We also saw gains in retail, healthcare, and government jobs. On the flip side, the information industry shed 25,000 jobs, while transportation and warehousing lost 22,000 workers. In terms of wages, uh, they may not be keeping up with inflation, but they are still rising, up two tenths of a percent month over month, up 4.6 percent year over year. But that was actually lower than expected. And it's a bit of good news for the Fed and its effort to tame inflation, because as we've been saying, higher wages can stoke higher inflation. Also worth noting here that the January and December numbers were revised to show 34,000 fewer jobs added in those months. Now, today's report is just the latest in a string of reports pointing to a strong economy, including solid consumer spending. Next week, we're going to get the February inflation report. And Diane, if that comes in hot, we could see a more aggressive Federal Reserve. We're now banking on an interest rate hike of half a percent when they meet in less than two weeks. And we know what that means, higher borrowing costs for everything from credit cards to a home loan. So are there any particular sectors sticking out in this report? I think hospitality and leisure. So we're talking about restaurants, bars, hotels. That industry took such a hit during the pandemic. It's still trying to fully recover. Most of the jobs were added there last month, but we're still at pre-pandemic levels. All right. Alexis Christophers, thank you. And if you have any finance questions for Alexis, you can leave a message on our Instagram feed at ABC News Live. She just might answer your questions right here on Thursdays. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.